Wow! This looks so beautiful. Hi. An interesting design, isn't it? Hello, I am JC. This garden is really nice and this wall too. I like the way in which these identical tiles have been repeated again and again to form this pattern. You can call me Shamu JC. Do you want to know something interesting about this pattern? What is it, Shamu? JC, look carefully at the pattern. This pattern is made up of 16 identical shapes. Yeah, you're right. This is made up of 16 such shapes. Exactly. And since 16 such shapes make the entire pattern, 16 parts make one whole. So that each part is 1/16th of the entire pattern. I know what 1/16th is. It is a fraction. Correct, JC. This is indeed a fraction. And in this way, you can create your own pattern by using identical and repeating units. I'm so tired right now. I jogged so much. Really? How much did you jog today? I don't know the exact distance, but uh, I jogged from the main gate till this place. JC, that means you jogged almost one eighth of the whole track. I know what one eighth is. It is a fraction. But I wonder how much distance that is. Don't worry. We can find that out. The track is. 4000 meters long to find out what quantity of the whole a fraction represents you need to multiply the fraction with the whole so 1 by 8 of 4000 is equal to 1 by 8 multiplied by 4000 that is 500 meters Here the term of means multiplication. I will remember this. I am late today. I always reach home by quarter to 10. That means today you are running half an hour late. Shamu, half and quarter are also fractions, right? Yes, JC. They are fractions. and we can do fractional calculations based on time as well really can you please tell me how to use this fractions while calculating time oh sure jc we know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes and half an hour is 30 minutes quarter is just another way of saying 1/4 So, one fourth of sixty minutes will be equal to one fourth multiplied by sixty minutes. That is fifteen minutes. Correct. But J C, always remember that quarter past is calculated by adding this fifteen minutes to the given time, while quarter two means. a quarter less from the given time that is 60 minutes minus 15 minutes that is 45 minutes and add this 45 minutes to the previous hour okay and right now we have to find out quarter to 10 here isn't it exactly so Quarter to ten will be equal to fifteen minutes before ten o'clock. That is nine forty-five a.m. And JC, as you are running half an hour late, then time at which you will reach home today is nine forty-five plus thirty minutes. That is equal to. 10:15 a.m. 
Shamu, that was easy. Now, I won't make any mistakes and will always reach places on time. Thanks a lot. It was nice to meet you. My pleasure, JC. Visit this garden again. Goodbye. Bye, Shamu. Hi, JC. How are you? Hello, Janvi. I'm fine. What made you come here? Are you going to this garden? No, I'm not going to the garden. My mom has asked me to buy some fruits. So I'm going to the fruit shop. Okay, Janvi. JC, please come with me. I may need your help. Um, fine. I'll come. But let's make it fast, okay? Okay, if you say so. Hey, Janvi. There are so many fruits here. Which ones do you need to buy? Mom has asked me to buy uh, oranges, grapes and mangoes. Janvi, here are your fruits. JC, but I don't know how much money I need to pay for these fruits. Relax Janvi, when JC is here, you don't have to worry. <laughs> okay JC. We have here half kg oranges, half kg grapes and two and three fourth kg mangoes. One kg oranges cost rupees 14. So the cost of half kg oranges will be equal to half of rupees 14. That is rupees 7. Similarly, cost of half kg grapes will be equal to half of rupees 18. That is equal to rupees 9. JC, that's so simple. And what about 2 and 3 fourth kg mangoes? How much will they cost? Janvi, fractions such as these can be broken down into 2 kg and 3 fourth kg. So, cost of 2 kg mangoes will be equal to 2 multiplied by rupees 12 that is equal to rupees 24. Cost of 3 fourth kg mangoes will be equal to 3 fourth of rupees 12 that is equal to rupees 9. So, the total cost of mangoes will be equal to rupees 24 plus rupees 9. That is equal to rupees 33. Yeah, correct. You are really fast, Janvi. Oh yeah, I know that. So in total, we need to give him rupees 33 plus rupees 7 plus rupees 9. That is equal to rupees 49. Correct. Let's go now. Thanks a lot, JC. My pleasure, Janvi. Hello, folks. Today we learnt how we can use fractions in our everyday life. A pattern is formed by repeating identical units where each unit is a part of a whole. Look at the following pattern. This pattern is made up of four such shapes. Since four arrows make this pattern, four parts make one whole. Each arrow is one fourth of the entire pattern. To find out what quantity of the whole a fraction represents, you just multiply the fraction with the whole. The term of is used in fractions to represent multiplication. Look at the example. Fractions can come in handy while dealing with values of time, distance and mass. Let's look at the following examples for each one. At times, we need to break down the fractions into two parts and calculate them individually. For example, 5 3 fourth can be written as 5 and 3 fourth. Now look at the example below based on mass.
isn't it easy? You can use this fractional calculations in your everyday life. Just the way I did. That's all I have for now. Bye.